Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today Bitcoin has been going up. So today, Tuesday, uh, just two days after I posted a tweet saying that Bitcoin will be surprising you. Of course, I was talking about Sunday and it started on Sunday actually. So it has been going up since Sunday evening and Monday and today it's Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. I always mix up the days. Yes, today is Tuesday. So guys, Bitcoin has been going up and I believe this is a good um, a good area for a price reversal. Also comparing to all the charts that I've been analyzing on the Pro Indicators framework and considering that on the daily chart of total and also on the daily chart of Bitcoin, we have achieved at least yet to be confirmed. I will check just now uh, yet to be confirmed that we have a second range boundary on the chart. And if that is the case, the biggest probability right now is that Bitcoin will reverse the price action to the upside at least for the short term but we will have to break some resistances to continue this move up to find the third range boundary so i'm really sorry today maybe the video will be uploaded a bit later than usual but i had some personal issues to solve today with traditional financing and banks and stuff like that so i'm just recording this now and i hope i will not delay the video anymore so let's go to screen share and that's, let's start by the price to time model. So here we are. Let me zoom in. Finally, finally, we see a green week on the price to time model. So we have a double bottom on the weekly chart. We have the bottom before the yellow candle pattern of 2017. And we have a second bottom after the yellow candle pattern of 2017. But now currently this week, since we started the new week, has been on the green. That's a good sign. That's a positive sign for me and probably all the price structure that we have been seeing here will uh, turn out to be a nice structure to have a price reversal to the upside. If not for the long term, at least for the short term, this is a sign that Bitcoin wants to go up from here. So let me check the RSI very, very, very quickly. So the RSI also shows you guys that double bottom that we had and now again going up for this week and probably we will at least touch the orange dashed line that corresponds to the mid cycle correction of 75% that we had in 2013. So that's it for the price of time model. Let's go directly to not this one, this one here and let me check the weekly chart. So here we are, the green week candle, weekly candle that started on the um, Sunday evening for some, Monday morning for others. Uh, so this is the candle that I was talking about on the price to time model. We have been going up since we found support on the 50 period SMA. And finally, this week is showing some signs of reversal. It might even happen that this MRI bottom on the weekly is only now showing signs of wanting to happen. So let's see how this evolves. I'm just going to zoom in a bit for you guys. So here it is the support that we found at the 50 period SMA, the yellow line here. And this is the week that is just starting now, just uh, 24 hours into the new week. And we are already going up. But you guys will see the move that I was talking about on Sunday when I posted to Twitter about that, uh, about Bitcoin uh, that might surprise us um, really soon and it happened just a few hours later on sunday evening when the reversal started to happen uh, the rsi continues to go sideways here no big deal the macd continues to show bullishness uh, sorry bearishness but you guys can see now that for the last two weeks so the current week and the previous one we have been having light red bars and the gap is in fact going to the opposite direction so this shows some signs that the probably this big move to the downside, this big correction of 50% might be ending at this point. However, we still need some confirmations, so don't start jumping right now, but we need confirmations and that is what I will be trying to see in the near future. 
so that's it for the weekly and let's just see the daily how this is going so this is the double bottom i was talking about we have a bottom here in this area and we have another bottom here that even went lower than the previous one and then we have this accumulation area with another uh try to go to the downside but immediately turn back up and we are now trading around 36 300 uh, 36,300 dollars which is a very good indication that the price of Bitcoin wants to go higher however this is a big resistance area as I said before because it started around 35 then this was really broken to the upside in a fury and then we are now fighting the 36,000 resistance and there's another resistance coming so that's why I said please don't start jumping right now there is this 50 period SMA which corresponds to the last 50 days that is coming down also in a very steep pace and we will have to break that to the upside and then we have another resistance here with a trend line that I draw I plotted long time ago you guys know this already so there's a lot here to do for Bitcoin to be able to go back to the upside and continue this search for a third range boundary which you guys will just see in the pro indicators framework as soon as i check the four hour chart for bitmax funding rate so the bitmax funding rate is now in positive territory but not not really high the premium continues to be negative but the longs are now uh, in control which could delay us a bit in this rise to higher levels so we are now around let me check 0 0.008 almost 0 0.01 but that is not very very significant so i guess that the bitmax funding rate is not really showing any market sentiment right now it's probably mostly neutral so let's go to the pro framework here so here it is this is the big range that you saw on the daily chart and here on the four hour chart it looks like a huge range it looks smaller on the daily chart of course but on the four hours we have been supported by the context support which is the gray box down here as soon as we touch the gray box the support context we started to move back up with a retry of this range bottom and then continuation to the upside we even did respect this bearish sign that I got here there is a bear signal on the pro momentum as you guys can see there there is a bear signal which was not even respected by Bitcoin Bitcoin doesn't have any respect for anyone anyway uh, so Bitcoin decided to break the trend channel the trend channel is broken to the upside the trend channel as you guys know is the red zigzag and the green zigzag down here and this was supposed to be resistance for Bitcoin. There is a bear signal. And in the meantime, Bitcoin didn't care about all that and just broke the trend channel to the upside. And we are now going for higher levels. So this is a very, very good sign for the bulls. It means that the bulls are in control, at least for the short term. Let's see how they behave in the resistance context and this is coming down and is now with a new week around the 42,000. so the resistance context is now around 42 and we have also a previous third range boundary from a long time ago that is around the 40,000. so this will be a very very um strong area of resistance and i hope that bitcoin can accumulate and going slowly to the upside this is very very important if we have a huge breakout now then the most probable thing that will happen is we will come back down to retest all the supports from previous um, continuation to the upside of all this area so the most important thing now would you would be to have a sustainable uh, rise to the upside here going up and very very slowly breaking all the resistances because if you have a big breakout this will not happen we will come down again so this is what i can see for now in the short term but let me show you the daily chart on the pro framework so this is what i meant this is the big big uh, ranging channel that started when this exponential move to the upside also started started so the beginning of my range channel is around October September October of 2020 when we started to see the exponential rise of the price of Bitcoin and then I plotted this range channel when we achieved that first range boundary there that 
actually it became the all-time high for now which is 64 and a half thousand dollars and then being a range this line is parallel so of course i had three points this point down here and those two points up there and then guess what happened this is not black magic or anything like that or any kind of magic uh, magic by the way this is just technical analysis and the bottom of the range was touched and immediately went to the upside so guys this is not black magic technical analysis works and it gives us a very very good indication of what might happen in bitcoin price or any other assets price so here on the daily you have the ranging channel being touched and immediately uh, reverse the price action to the upside we also have the support context which is the gray box down here we did not cross the support context <coughs> And you guys can see it we did not cross the support context and if this support context would have been broken to the downside that would be that would have been much more problematic however the support context held the price by a hair and then sent it back to the upside in a fury so guys this is what i was meaning about the second range boundary so this touch this touch here is for me the in the the beginning of the confirmation of a second range boundary which probably could be confirmed as soon as we go up and we achieve the median line of the ranging channel so guys this was the analysis for the daily chart on the pro, pro framework um, indicator let me check now the dollar so the dollar is fighting to break this resistance but although going up for a bit i guess this will not be possible to break the resistance right now unless something really crazy happens some other big lies coming from the fed or something like that and probably the dollar could break the resistance but technically looking at the chart i don't see the dollar breaking this resistance uh, so easily okay so that's the dollar i'm expecting it to come down to come back down here and retest this support around the 90 or 89 on the dixie so that's it for the dollar let's go for gold gold is showing some strength on the bearish side so i guess the squeeze between the trend line here the white line and the squeeze also between that line there the trend line coming down which is the red line is uh, making gold go down i bet there is a small inverse correlation here between bitcoin and gold probably some people that had gold are selling it to buy bitcoin also hoping um, to hedge against the hyperinflation of the dollar and probably seeing bitcoin as a better way out for that and probably selling some gold and buying some bitcoin so it's probably some kind of really short-term inverse correlation here because the main one as you guys know should be the hedge against the hyperinflation of the dollar and in that case both gold or bitcoin would be good assets to fight or hedge that uh, hyperinflation however i probably see some people selling gold here trying to get into bitcoin because they think it's a better choice to fight or to hedge against the problem of the dollar so in gold what i see is that we are still testing we are still testing this trend line here and probably if the trend line is broken to the downside gold will find support on this 100 period sma which also coincides with the same level of the support found here by this mri bottom right now we are on the third count of a red count sorry the red three of four which could be the one to four candle correction if we continue to go down probably till tomorrow we will find for sure some support on the 100 period sma and probably have a reversal of gold uh, i'm not seeing gold really really strong in terms of bulls right now so i see some more continuation to the downside and i hope that gold for those that uh, have gold of course in their portfolios uh, i hope for them that gold will find support on the 100 period sma but for me you guys know already the better choice to hedge against the inflation is of course bitcoin so i would never um 
sell Bitcoin to buy gold. If I had gold, I would sell it right now to buy a Bitcoin. So that's my position. That's my choice. But you guys should know what to do with your own portfolios. So I hope you take the right choice here. And uh, at least for this uh, probable ver uh, continuation of gold going to the downside. So for now, I see gold probably having for this year, the lowest of the lowest will be the 1670, which was this low here. Um, I don't see it going below that low for now, unless we break this 100 uh, period SMA uh, in a fury or something like that. And we also have here the support line of the MRI, which is this uh, green dots line here. So probably I will continue to say that this low of this candle will be the low for the year, but I still don't know uh, if this 100 period SMA will support it or not. And then we have the MRI uh, support line, the green dots around here, which is exactly, almost exactly by a hair, the same level of that low over there. So um, guys, gold now, it's not a very, very good uh, bet. I would wait if you want to get into gold. I, in my uh, opinion, if this was for me, I would wait some time more, have the confirmation of a possible price action reversal, and then entering gold again, uh, expecting it to go to the upside. But for now, if I had to choose between holding gold or Bitcoin, I would choose Bitcoin for sure, because it's much better. It's, it's a much better choice uh, against the inflation of the hyperinflation of the dollar than gold. So that is my view for gold today regarding the S&P 500. Let's see what's happening here. So the S&P is still trying to fight the trend line to go to the upside, but it's not being successful so far. As you guys see here, we have been again trying to uh, go above the trend line here for the past week. And now with the new week starting, we are again trying to move to the upside of this trend line and have this continuation for this uh, wedge pointing up. But I see, I have this, um, I'm looking at the price structure and I have this idea that the S&P 500 is not 100% healthy and this could mean if we don't get above this trend line and have some fast continuation to the upside, I see some problems here, probably a retracement on the S&P 500. So let's see what happens there. And I guess that's it, guys, for today. I don't have any more big news for you unless except for this chart that you guys know already from previous videos, my Elliott wave count to the upside on this bull cycle of Bitcoin. And this is the long term view of Bitcoin on the chart. You guys know already that for me, this fourth wave is really really important and i was waiting for confirmation that the point the lowest point for the fourth wave was already defined by the 28.8k so let's see if this move to the upside continues and if we can sustainably uh, break all the resistances that are coming ahead and if that is possible and we have confirmation of a second range boundary i would say that probably the low for this fourth wave is found and now we could be starting a move to complete the fifth wave of the elliott wave count taking us at last for the top of this bull cycle which will come in my opinion close to the end of this year maximum probably the first quarter of the next year but i will point it for now for the end of this year for the last quarter uh, october or november maybe december so let's see how this evolves but if this is already defined as the point of the number four wave that is really really good news already and that's guys what i have for you today in such a complicated day that I had today and I had to come home running just to record the video for you guys but finally I was able to do it and I hope I didn't take long to explain the analysis for today so guys you know already please if you enjoy the content 
gently touch the like button, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon and select all for the notifications that you are notified every time I upload a video. And of course, you guys know already that we have a Telegram group where you should subscribe it. Just go to a browser and write t.me forward, uh, forward slash FU money or if you can just search for FU money on your Telegram app and it will take you there. It will be the top result. So I guess there is no other FU money group on Telegram except ours. So guys, the wise words to finish the video of today. All right, let's roll. Hey, let's be careful out there. So that's it, guys. Let's roll and be really careful out there in the markets. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye bye.